Hey guys, it's Justin from LitTube coming at you with another face-to-face -face video. And again, I'm talking NFL here. There's actually some really interesting NFL free agency news that came out, a signing that I don't think a lot of people are talking about, but it's going to end up being a very key signing for next year. The New England Patriots went out and grabbed Rex Burkhead, uh, a former Cincinnati Bengals running back. Uh, and this is a really, really interesting signing that I think is not getting a lot of coverage because Rex Burkhead was a backup in Cincinnati. But, I mean, just look, listen to what he did week 17 of last year when he got um, the starting job when they played the, the Ravens in week 17. Um, 27 attempts, 119 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, two receptions for 25 yards, and the Bengals went on to defeat uh, the Ravens 27-10 to in Week 17 of last year. And sure, you can point to that and say, oh, well, it was a Week 17 where neither team was really going to like do anything. But listen, here's the thing. That was Burkhead's first real chance to start a game in his career. I mean, before that, he's basically been a special teamer, um, who comes in as like the third string running back to occasionally get some uh, get some touches, but that was his first time starting, and we saw what he could do. He had some workhorse potential in him. I mean, 27 carries, and to get that kind of production, get two his two touchdowns of the year in that same game. So I really think the Patriots took a hard look at that, and I think the Patriots decided this guy can replace Legarrette Blunt as our power back. I, I really think that's what they decided. Patriots aren't going to re-sign LeGarrette Blunt in free agency. They went out and grabbed Burkhead to take over the LeGarrette Blunt role in the Patriots offense. And in fact, because of Rex Burkhead's profile, he might be able to do a little bit more than even just that. I mean, when it comes down to it, and, and I'll break down the metrics for you here in a second, because I think that Burkhead can go beyond just being a goal line, short yardage, power back, you know, being the guy that gets the majority of the carries. He can be dangerous in the passing game as well, and that's something LeGarrette Blunt did not have in his arsenal. LeGarrette Blunt was not an effective receiving back. Burkhead is. So I'm going to talk, break that down for you as well in a second here. All right, so guys, let's start with a comparison between LeGarrette Blunt running back on the way out from New England Patriots and Rex Burkhead running back on the way in. So if you look at LeGarrette Blunt, six feet tall, 241 pounds, Burkhead's smaller at 5'10", 214 pounds, so there's definitely a size difference there between the two guys. Now, here's the one area where Burkhead struggles, okay? Burkhead is a slow running back. I'm just going to come out and say it. He is slow, significantly slower than your average NFL running back. You know, we compare these two guys, I mean, Blunt's not particularly fast either, but 40-yard dash time for LeGarrette Blunt. 4.70, 15th percentile. Rex Burkhead, 4.73, 10th percentile among NFL running backs. But then what really comes out is when you size adjust, get a size adjusted speed score. So when we take into account the weight of these two guys, you can see that Blount clearly has him beat. 98.8 uh, size adjusted speed score for LeGarrette Blunt. That's 54th percentile, a little bit better than average. And for Burkhead, it's 85.5, 11th percentile. So Burkhead, even for his size, is really slow. Um, but then, in basically, on almost every other metric, Burkhead is a better, more efficient player because when I mean, you look at the burst score, you know, what, what, you know, combining the vertical and broad jump and using that to assess a player's burst, his explosiveness. You know, for LeGarrette Blunt, that that was a 118 score for his. Uh, his burst score, 44th percentile. For Burkhead, it was 128.8, which is 90th percentile. So Burkhead has a lot of burst. He's not particularly fast, but he's explosive. You look at agility. LeGarrette Blunt, 48th percentile for running backs in his agility score. Burkhead, 93rd percentile. So he's he's very agile. He's very explosive. He just lacks speed. And even on bench press, this actually surprised me, guys. LeGarrette Blunt, as big as he is, 18 reps for bench press, 33rd percentile among running backs. Burkhead, 21 reps, 59th percentile. So you mean to tell me Burkhead is more explosive, more agile, and stronger than LeGarrette Blunt? 
and they're they're not too different speed wise. It's just like Garrett Blunt gets a premium on his speed score because he's heavier. Um, college Dominator uh, Burkhead is better, thirty uh, eighth percentile to twenty seventh percentile. Again, the College Dominator it has to do with how many uh, rushing yards and rushing touchdowns, receiving yards, receiving touchdowns. You know all the production that the running back accounted for uh, at his college in comparison to other players on the field. Um, so they, you know, Burkhead has the edge there, you know, Blunt in college had 7.3 yards per carry, 95th percentile, really excellent compared to Burkhead's 5.3 yards per carry, which is 35th percentile. So Blunt has him, has the edge on that metric. Uh, but then college target share 1.3% for LeGarrette Blunt, that's second percentile. That's terrible. But for Burkhead, 8.9%, 62nd percentile among running backs. And that's why I say, you know, Burkhead has that ability to be a receiving back and not just the power back for New England. Now, New England already has James White and Deion Lewis, which are very capable receiving backs, but this just goes to show that Burkhead has that versatility that he can actually be a three-down back when needed for New England. So there might be a couple series they put him out there, and they're like, you know, they're trying to use him in the Garrett Blunt role, but maybe it's a hurry-up offense, and they can just keep him out there. They don't need to switch him out if they don't want to, because he can handle those receiving duties. And the Nike Spark X score, you know, we, care, we compare LeGarrette Blunt, 102.9, 19th percentile Spark X, Rex Burkhead, 120.5, 72nd percentile, and that's Nike's Spark X score that measures all-around athleticism for a player. So Burkhead, overall, big picture here, he's more athletic than Blunt, you know, he's a better receiving back than Blunt, he's stronger than Blunt, more agile than Blunt, more explosive than Blunt, just a little bit slower than Blunt. So he's clearly a better replacement. Now, that's not to discount what LeGarrette Blunt did last year because LeGarrette Blunt did have 1,161 rushing yards, number eight among running backs in the NFL last year, 18 total touchdowns, number two in the league last year for running backs, but his yards per touch, uh, 3.9, which is ranked 71st, out of running backs last year. So he wasn't, LeGarrette Blunt was not efficient last year, but, but playing for New England, running behind a good line, uh, and and playing with Tom Brady, you know, having that kind of passing game, that kind of offensive line, allows you to open up to get those kind of monster stats when you get 1,000 plus rushing yards and 18 total touchdowns for the year. LeGarrette Blunt was a beast last year. I'm not denying it. He just wasn't all that efficient you know, he was, a be- he was a beast statistically when you zoom out and look at what he produced last year. Those are beastly stats, but on a per-touch basis, he was inefficient. And we compare that to Burkhead, who last year, in a backup role, 344 rushing yards, number 53 in the league, two total touchdowns, number 59 in the league, but on a per-touch basis, 5.4 yards per touch. That's carries and receptions it factors in for the per-touch. Number 25 to LeGarrette Blunt's number 71. So, all of these metrics taken into account, and I look at these two guys' careers and what they did last year, uh, again, Blunt was great for the Patriots last year. I'm not trying to deny that. He was great for them, and it worked out well, but Burkhead is actually the more efficient player when you break down the metrics, and that's why I think filling that gap of LeGarrette Blunt leaving and putting Rex Burkhead out there the Patriots are going to do just fine. In fact, I think this gives them more versatility. I think this allows them to say, hey, it's third down. We're doing the no-huddle offense. Let's not sub out Burkhead for James White or Deion Lewis. Let's just keep him on the field. They have that option because Burkhead has shown at the college level and pro level that he can be a receiving back in addition to that goal line power back type. So... Again, overall, I'm not saying Burkhead's some kind of monster player and, oh my god, what a steal in free agency, because he is slow. You know, he's slow for a halfback. I I will come out and say that. You know, you look at his 40 time, look at his size adjusted speed score. He's a slow guy, but he he can do some good power running. He can catch the ball with the best of them. So, I think overall, you look at his skill set, this is a good fit for New England. I mean, all they had to do was pluck him out of free agency. He didn't have to give up a draft pick, didn't have to trade for him. This is a great move by New England to bring in this guy. I mean, I I look at him as, uh, you know, if you want to compare him to some other backs they had before, you know, this guy could end up being their next Kevin Falk. 
you know, he if you compare him to Woodhead, I mean, he's basically just like a slower but more powerful version of Danny Woodhead. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see next season. A lot of people are discounting this guy. They're just assuming that James White and Deion Lewis are going to take the reins in the backfield and Burke is just going to be the third guy in the depth chart. I do not see it playing out that way. And I don't see New England using early round draft picks in the 2017 NFL draft to bring in another running back. I think these are the three guys they stick with. And I think that Burkhead is going to end up being the most widely used of those three running backs. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I just want to also point out, I recently published my first sports article on littubechannel.wordpress.com. You can find that link in the description. And I talk about the biggest bust for the 2017 NFL Draft.